Many Australians don't like Halloween. They see it as a commercialised American tradition. And I agree to some extent. It is highly commercialised. If you walk into any Australian supermarket today, you'll see aisles of tacky Halloween merchandise. Chinese-made witches' hats, brooms, masks and buckets. Half-priced packets of German-owned Chinese-made lollies – read, trolley – chocolates, face paint, pumpkins, bloody well everything. Any major shop would be foolish not to participate. It's a cash cow. As many of you might already know, Halloween is actually based on an ancient Celtic festival called Samhain, which celebrated the end of the lighter half of the year and the beginning of the darker half. About ten years ago, I actually had to give a presentation in a Chinese kindergarten about the origins of Halloween. I went into glorious detail about the ancient pagan rituals and so on, but after running the script past the deputy principal, she said, No, 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 no! Halloween is American holiday! You must tell children about candy and costume! Obviously, my interpretations of history were very different from hers. So anyway, in Australia, Halloween, or at least the trick-or-treating part of Halloween, is becoming very popular with young families. Within a short couple of years in my city, Halloween is beginning to boom. More and more houses are putting their addresses up on Facebook indicating that they will be offering free lollies this year. More and more kids at my son's school are talking about what they'll be doing tonight and how many treats they'll be collecting. There's a real buzz around the schoolyard. However, a lot of my friends don't like it. A guy I know even hammered in a sign out the front of his yard reading, We are Christians. We don't celebrate Halloween. I've seen some debate about whether Christians should celebrate it or not, but ultimately my friend just didn't want to participate in a commercialised American custom. It didn't really have anything to do with him being a Christian. Some people can get a bit mean-spirited about it and can get a bit angry with kids that come to their door. Due to this, many Halloween events in Australia are now formally planned. Street addresses of participating houses are kept online so that there's no unexpected knocking at random doors. Sometimes entire streets participate, but there's usually at least one neighbour who refuses to. They purposely close their blinds and turn off all the lights. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Halloween, but I can understand why it's popular. Ten years ago, I would have sided with all the sour pusses and agreed that we shouldn't be celebrating it, mainly because of its commercialisation. But now that I have children, and those children are being influenced by their peers and an endless streaming of Halloween-related videos on YouTube, I can hardly say no to them. My feeling is that as long as nobody is getting hurt and that everybody is having fun, then we may as well participate. As all good parents should do, I've tried to stress the importance of sharing to my children. Halloween isn't just a time to rob everyone of their lollies. Next year, against my better judgement, I'm planning to list my address on the Halloween houses list. Not because I like Halloween, but because I want to teach my children that some years, we should be the ones handing out the lollies. I've noticed now that Halloween is becoming more popular, the lists of rules being posted online are becoming more and more comprehensive. Things like, children only, and all children must be wearing a costume. I guess some people didn't like uncostumed adults coming to their doors requesting lollies. Personally, as an adult, if I want to eat some chocolate, I can go and buy a whole box of them from the supermarket for half price. Why would I bother going and knocking on a stranger's door and embarrassing myself? One guy I know is completely against Halloween. He calls it a bloody American tradition that doesn't belong here. But yet, the very next week, he's munching down on a McDonald's Big Mac and guzzling down a Pepsi Max. Ah, the hypocrisy. I actually just read a news article out of America where a boy from Galleon, Ohio, tested positive for methamphetamine after going trick-or-treating. It just goes to show you that you still have to keep your guard up, even with something that's fairly innocuous like trick-or-treating. So what are your feelings towards Halloween in Australia? Are we participating in a bloody commercialised American tradition? Or are we just letting our kids participate in something that they can all enjoy together? What are your thoughts? Either way, if you do head out tonight, stay safe, stay warm, and make sure to take a drug testing kit with you. Cheers.